would celebrate Ash Wednesday without giving ashes. Not an easy thing to do. And then I thought of something. People uh, in the church in this Lenten season are getting ready to celebrate the Easter sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. People are getting ready to be welcomed into the church as new Christians. Part of their preparation involves a ritual where they come to church and their senses are signed with the cross. It's a very beautiful ritual. I thought, you know, maybe that's what we can do today. Maybe that's the closest we can come. Now, the beauty of Ashes and Ash Wednesday is that you come to church, you receive something, someone touches you. Not only touches you, but rubs something gritty into your forehead. A blessing is etched on your face. You go home knowing that grace has touched you. So I'm hoping that we can have that experience virtually here. In baptism, we are claimed by the power of Christ's cross. Now we remember Christ's claim on us as we begin our Lenten journey, a path that will lead us to Easter, when with joy we will renew the promises of our baptism. So receive the sign of the cross on your forehead. It is Jesus himself who strengthens you with this sign of his love. In the season before us, learn to know him more deeply and to follow him more faithfully. Receive the sign of the cross on your eyes. by day this Lent, may you see the glory of God all around you. May you see the face of Jesus in everyone you know and meet. Receive the sign of the cross on your lips. In these holy 40 days, may you respond to God's word in prayer. Speak the name of Jesus with reverence and love. May all your speech be true and charitable, and let no unkind word pass your lips. Receive the sign of the cross on your shoulders. May you take up crosses in your life. And remember in the days ahead that Jesus helps you carry every cross that is yours. Receive the sign of the cross over your heart. When you rise each Lenten morning and before you go to bed each night, Invite Jesus to dwell ever more deeply in your heart. Welcome the Lord who has already made his home in you. Receive the sign of the cross on your hands. Christ be known in all you do. Never lift your hand to harm or threaten anyone. May your hands be always ready to lift up, support, and carry your neighbor. Receive the sign of the cross on your feet.
walk always in the footsteps of Jesus. May your steps always lead you closer to Christ. May you never stray from the path of his word. And now, in the shadow of the cross of Jesus, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So